Before performing any chromatography, you must verify that the XYZ mechanism positions the needle properly in the sample chamber. To begin, open the sample manager door. If there is a sample tray holder on the right side, loosen the screw holding it in place by turning it counterclockwise one quarter turn. Remove the tray holder. Using your finger, remove the teach block from the sample manager chassis floor. Next, insert the teach block into the locating holes. In the Acuity console, select Sample Manager, XYZ Mechanism from the system tree. From the control menu, select Reset SM to bring the XYZ Mechanism to its home position with puncture needle above the wash station. Next, select Troubleshoot, Calibrate XY and ZP Axes. The Calibrate XY and ZP Axes dialog box appears. Click Start to begin. A warning appears prompting the operator to keep clear of the sample chamber, confirm that all plates and sample holders are removed, and ensure that the teach block is installed. Click OK. The sample manager beeps three times to indicate that the needle assembly mechanism is about to move, and the XYZ mechanism positions the puncture needle into place above the teach block. Next, examine the location of the puncture needle relative to the hole in the teach block. Choose the 1.0 mm displacement increment and then click the plus Z button to position the XYZ mechanism foot close to the top of the teach block. Each click of the mouse moves the needle 1 mm. It may be easier to use the keyboard arrow keys instead of clicking the on-screen buttons to adjust the needle position. This allows you to adjust the position without taking your eyes off the needle. Avoid holding down an arrow key. Doing so stores keystrokes and causes the needle to continue moving even after you release it. Select the 0.1 mm displacement increment and then fine-tune the adjustment so that the XYZ mechanism foot is just above the teach block but not touching it. To avoid triggering the top of plate sensor prematurely, do not allow the mechanism foot to touch the teach block. To laterally position the puncture needle, use the plus X or minus X button to move it left or right respectively. With the aid of a small mirror, use the plus Y or minus Y button to adjust the front to back location of the puncture needle so that it is centered over the needle hole. Using the 0.1 mm displacement increment, lower the puncture needle to the teach block hole until the tapered tip of the needle begins to enter the hole. Lower it only enough to confirm an accurate X and Y alignment. Do not allow the mechanism foot to touch the teach block. Click Calibrate. A warning appears prompting you to keep clear of the sample chamber. Then click OK. The puncture needle rises and then fully lowers into the teach block to calibrate the top of plate sensor. Click Save. This action stores the X, Y, and ZP values to memory. When the confirmation window appears, click Yes. Finally, remove the teach block. Place it in the storage location on the floor of the sample compartment and reinsert the sample tray holder or holders. Next, click Maintain, Calibrate Needle Z-Axis. The Calibrate Needle Z-Axis dialog box appears. Calibrating the Needle Z-Axis positions the sample needle relative to the bottom of the vial. Click Start. A warning message appears instructing the user to remove all plates and teach block while leaving the tray in place. Click OK. To easily and efficiently achieve the correct needle setting, slide a business card under the needle. Select the 1.0 mm displacement increment, then use the plus Z button to drive the sample needle down to within 1 mm of the card surface. Switch the displacement increment to 0.1 mm and lower the sample needle until it touches the surface of the card lightly but does not restrict the card's free movement. Click Save. The confirmation window appears. Click Yes. Before running any chromatography, it will be necessary to perform the following procedures. Characterizing the seal and needle and loop volumes. Air sensor bubble detector calibration if using needle overfill mode. 